This is the Iron Trader, and this is Midday Trading. So I'm going to take a look and see what natural gas is doing, what crude oil is doing, and then into the mix today, we're going to uh, put Comstock Resources, CRK, which is a uh, natural gas and oil company. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, Sony Stock Commodity ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, now there's some really good action here in the old Natty Gas. Now, let's just look at yesterday. Okay, if you watched my video this morning, you notice that I pointed out this double top situation that we had going on yesterday, okay? So you made that high of 2.274 uh, and then retested it to 2.274. And then we just, uh, the next candles here were just lower and then you went below this 8 SMA. And that was a time that you either sell your position long or go short or the combination, okay? Very, very nice. Now, today, this was pre-market. This was very, very interesting because we're going sideways, and this looks like you're going to fall off a, off a cliff. But I'll show you where the support levels were on the daily chart that I was telling you about this morning. Okay, so what do we have here is it went down there, made a low, okay, and then made a lower low, and then made a higher low. Okay, see how that is? So what do we have here? Okay, what kind of pattern do we have? This is an inverse head and shoulders pattern, okay? There's your left shoulder. There's your head. There's your right shoulder, and then boom, off she went to the races. And once you got above this key uh, uh, level right here when you had this candle, that tells you you got to get long and you got to take the scalp all the way on up. Now, today we made a, actually a new high, 2.313. Very, very nice. So always want to look at these patterns within the charts. Now, again, uh, last week and the week before I did um, on candlesticks, I did my weekend edition was on candlesticks and it was on chart patterns. OK, so it's actually worth your time just to go there and take a look. OK, so then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But really to an ordinary eye to say, oh, what's the big deal? Well, actually, you have to try to identify these patterns. That's how you make the old money. Now, again, we had a nice good stair step all the way on up. And then where are we now? We just went like a sideways action going on. So now what we have here is you have your 21 day at 2.28 and we have this uh, eight day uh, barely much 2.28. That's what we got to watch. Now, again, if we go uh, higher, you got to look for that 2.30 and then the 2.31. If we go lower, you want to watch this price channel right there at uh, a 2.25 and then we have 2.254. Right below that is your 200 day. OK, so that's what we have on your five minute chart. OK, let's look here at a daily chart. Okay, here we have your daily chart. Now, uh, this morning I pointed out on the old video, what do we have? You had a double top situation. Okay, it ran on up here and we made a high of 2.26. And then yesterday we made a high of 2.27 and we had a red candle. That was your tally time that says if you can't get above and close above that, then you got to sell your position. Now, this morning what I pointed, pointed out here is we wanted to watch the top of this candle. This was very critical. This is that 2.16. See how it's holding here all the way on down? Very, very nicely. Now, today in the pre-market here, we had the candle. Let me take that uh, down just a little bit there. Yeah, okay. So here what we had is you wanted to watch the top of that candle at 2.16. Okay, so what we're doing, we're holding. Now, today when we open up in pre-market, when I made the video, this candle was actually red and made a lower low. But I said, this remember, Today's low here was 2.153. You want to watch all these key levels, okay? So what did we have yesterday? You had 2.16, so I went below that. Then you had this 2.14, okay? So right there, when you look at this, this is your double bottom situation, okay, with a higher low. So 2.153, and then you look at this candle, 2.14. But just take it right off of this candle here, there's 2.16. Everything is very, very tight sideways action. Now again, this could have fell right off the map, but then I said, watch this key 8 SMA, your, uh, uh, this top of this candle, 2.09, very, very key, and then we have your 8 day right below that, okay? But right now, we just have some nice sideways action. We're holding this nice upper tier, and this looks very, very uh, bullish here to go up. So this here, uh, when I pointed out this morning, I said it could be turn out just like the crew did yesterday where you put in that lower low and then she ran up high and now we get engulfed the previous day's candle, which is always very, very bullish. Okay, let's take a look here at the upside. So what do we have here today? 2.31. Hmm, how do we get there? What did I tell you? Always look to the left of the chart, okay? So we started off here, okay? You look at the low, 2.23, obviously above that, 2.276. That's what we hit yesterday, and then today, okay, then we have 
But then you have to watch right there, this candle, 2.31. What was today's high? 2.31, okay? So that's what you want to look. Now, again, if we can get above this key point 2.31, then we'll come right to the next candle, okay? So you're looking at uh, 2.31. 3.25, and then we just start following these candles here. Looking at the next level is going to be 2.38, and then we're going to be looking right here at this gap bell at 2.42. Then obviously above that, you got your 2.46, which is your 200 SMA. Okay, now again, we're putting in a series here of higher highs, but what we're doing is, is you, you are, it's just a perfect trading range. It's what's going on here. I know, you know, when you look at this, okay? So what you had there, you had a topping tail. You went outside the perimeters here of these price channels, okay? So then it came in. Yesterday, we had a nice bottoming tail. And then we had this double top situation off of that candle. Then today, we put in that lower low. And it looked like it was going to sell down. But then when it reversed, because you're holding this candle right there on support 2.42, where today was 2.15, Okay, I mean, uh, yeah, what did I say? Yeah, 2.14, and this here today was 2.15, that higher low, that double bottom situation, and boom, off she went. So what you wanna watch is obviously is today's high, 2.31. Next level is gonna be right there, 2.32, and then we're gonna come over here to the bottom of the candle at 2.38, and then this is what you're looking for, 2.42. That's that gap fill, and then we have 2.48, uh, uh, four, six are uh, right above that. That is going to be your upside. Now, the downside, we just want to hold this area. So if we look right here, okay, say we just take this 2.14 to 2.6 level. If we hold this area, very, very key. And another key is you want to hold this 8 SMA on a closing basis. That's the key. Now, it can zip down, you know, through it and it come right back up. That's fine. But you want to hold that on a closing basis. If you lose that 2.11, then we want to come right here, 2.09, and then we want to come here to your 100-day at 2.07, and then we can just follow the candles down all the way get to your 21-day and your 50 SMA here. But right now, we have some good trading action here, just sideways right there. Very, very nice. So, you know, a pre-market is your friend. Always look at that. So always look to the left of the chart. So when it held that, okay, even though you had a red candle, you put in a lower low, then when she zoomed right on up here, very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's take a look here at um, uh, crude oil. Okay, here we have crude oil, your daily and your weekly chart. Okay, now, uh, before we get started, I just want to mention here on natural gas, the EIA report came out and you had a, a build of 79 BCF, okay? Um, they were expecting a build of 86 BCF, but you just had 79 BCF. Now, remember, previous, you had a build of 59 BCF, so you're actually going higher uh, so I don't know how much effect that had, but she ripped up pretty nice way before the uh, the 1030 timeline. Okay, here we have crude oil. Now, what do we have here? This is what I've been calling out for here is this nice bottoming candle. This was very, very key because when we look to the left of the chart here, what you want to do is look at all the bottoming candles and then what happens after it gets, it gets, it gets you know, once it does that. Okay, see that? All the way through. Now, again, it doesn't have to rip all the way up. Now, look how, what happened to this candle. You had a bobbing kale, a candle, and then what happened the next day? Okay, you had an indecision candle, and then she ripped up higher. So anything can happen. But yesterday was a very, very nice, good scalping opportunity. This is what I was talking about this morning, what ha could happen on natural gas when you made that lower low, and then she just engulfed the previous day's candle. Okay, so that was very, very nice. Now, well, let's just look at the downside first. What you want to do is it really needs to hold this key level, this 79.16, that's very, very crucial, okay? You have to hold that. If that is lost, then what we're going to do is we're going to look um, uh, right here, uh, right there. At this 50 SMA, you're looking at 78.97. Then we're going to look at this 21 day at 78.32. And then we have at 78.30 is your 100 day. Now, again, obviously, if that's lost, we just follow the candles down, 77.91. You have 77.55 and then yesterday's low at 76.89. But right now, this is, looks like a nice bottoming candle here. Just kind of an indecision and see what's going on. Now, today's high so far was a 79.80. So you always want to look to the left of the chart here. So obviously, 79.63, no one above that. So right there, 79.90, you came in within 10 cents. Okay, So that's a situation that we're looking at here now. Is this going to be a double top situation and come right on down? Or is it going to blast and hit this 
uh, 80 15 level here okay so that's going to be the very key now again if we can get above this 200 day then we just look to the bottom of these candles 80 70 80 88 and then we have this uh uh 80 uh 96 level then we'll look to the top of this candle looking at 81 57 and then we're looking for this 50 day at 81 85 and then right above it is that 21 day at 81.94. It'd be nice if this price could get above this 200 and then we could be trading this range here. Right now we're trading between the 100 day and the 200 day. You can see how this is. But even though this came all the way down here, okay, so it came down, that came down, it came. Look where it held. Look where it closed. That's the key. Where did it close? It closed right above that old Hondo. Very, very nice. So now today what you just want to watch is make sure that we close above this 79.60. That is going to be very key right now at 79.26. You're just above. Next level here is you're looking at is the top of this candle here. That's very key, 79.90, and then your 80.15. Uh, uh, okay, uh, MACD here. Oh, that's looking good. It can get if it's still bearish, but if it can roll right on up here, you can see where the bars are starting to crouch, uh, crouch right on up here. So we can see this. This could get very, very bullish here once we start jumping across these 200 days and get up to the 50 to 21 day. Once we get above that. Well, then we can rip all the way on up here to all the top of these candles here. Weekly, by tomorrow, we definitely want to close above that 50-day and above that 21-day. That's going to be very, very key. But it looks like we have a possible bottoming candle right here. Also, on the weekly, we got to see how it shakes out tomorrow. Okay, let's take a look here at Comstock Resources. Okay, here we have CRK, which is Comstock Resources. Now, the, way, the reason I bring this one up and the reason I like I trade this uh, for a simple reason is uh, Jerry Jones from the Dallas Cowboys owns over a, I think, 80, 85 percent of this. OK, so you just have to factor in there with his ego. I highly doubt if this is going to, you know, go down the tubes kind of a situation. You know what I'm saying? And this does uh, oil and natural gas. And so if natural gas starts running here, this would also be one that's going to be nicely in play. So let's take a look at here at the charts. So what we want to watch, you can see where we had a really nice good stair step. This is always one of my favorite patterns. As you know, you have a low, a higher low, a higher low, a higher low, and then now here we are. Okay, let's take a look at the upside first. So 1056, that's the breakout. Okay, that's what we're looking for. If we can break out above that, then what we do is we just take this price channel, come right across here. Okay, this, these blue lines are price channels. That's why it makes it very, very easy for a resistance. Instead of trying to look for everything, it's right here. Okay, so you want to look right at the top of that candle. The next level is going to be 10, uh, 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 75. Okay, and then we'll bring this price channel here right across. Okay, this is very, very easy. And then what do we got? Okay, you got 1104. And then what we'll do is we'll talk a look to the top of this candle at 1126. And then we want to bring this price channel across. Right on top of that candle, you're looking at 1173. Now there's a gap up here, which is always good because you know I always talk about gaps are like a magnet to a fridge. So what you want to watch here is 1215. That's the top of the gap, and then the fill here is uh, 1236. So 1215, 1236, and then you can rally all the way up here to 1339. Okay, very very good. Okay, now let's look at the downside. We definitely want to watch this 200 day. You're sitting at 10.09. Very very key, and then we have. Uh, 986 is going to be that 21 day. Okay, so again, if that's lost, we can follow the candles, but realistically, where you're going to go is going to be 919. Uh, now, again, you can see here, once you get above this 21 day, you can see how nice it is. You know, when it sells down, it's holding it. Okay, sell down and it's holding this. So if it does come down to the 21 day, if it holds it, that's a good buying opportunity here. But right now, you've got a good sideways action here, and we can clear above this key price channel at 1056. Then we just keep layering this all the way in until you hit the retest there at 1339. Okay, that's what I got for you. A little amount of gas, a little uh, crude, and uh, some uh, Comstock. Okay, I'll be back here uh, later today um, after the pit close, and we will go a little bit more in-depth on crude oil and natty gas. Thanks for watching.